Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the review of this uh, soundbar from Yamaha. The model name is YAS109 and guys, uh, Yamaha, uh, this one is the, a good audio brand uh, comparable to some of the uh, established audio brands like Polk Audio, uh, what do you can say, Onkyo, etc. And they make high-end, what do you say, AV equipment and even soundbar. And this is sort of their mid-range one. Uh, this is for about 20,000. And uh, let's have a look at this. And this is also smart. Uh, that means uh, it has Wi-Fi connectivity and also has built-in Alexa and stuff. And I tested this one with two televisions that I had. So let's go over it. What do I feel about it? What do I like about this soundbar? and what are the things that I do not like but first let's have a look at the same so guys this is the soundbar and you get these accessories you get also uh, what do you say a wire to connect uh, you get this uh, remote uh, using which you can control all the aspects I also got a uh, optical cable in the same and a big bunch of manuals and uh, if you want a wall mount a layout like this so let me keep these things to the side I wish a HDMI cable also came but we don't get that in the box uh, so this is the soundbar itself and uh, most of the drivers are over here over here they call it subwoofer but I will just say it's a woofer so we have two over here and uh, uh, two over the woofers are two the drivers are here and uh, we also have it over here and these are the leds I'll power it on and show you guys and on the side this is actually heavy about 3.7 kilograms on the side we also have a base port over here and the other one on the other side and if you look at the back here is the interesting stuff I would say uh, again it also has Bluetooth Dolby audio again uh, guys basic Dolby again you can't expect Atmos and stuff at this uh, uh, price point DTS virtual surround we have and high uh, HDMI or port we have uh, with arc support and of course Wi-Fi your power plug will go over here and if you notice here these are the main ports and we also have a HDMI in one and we also have uh, what do you say uh, HDMI out that is eARC enhanced arc but don't worry it will work perfectly fine with the normal arc one I tested it one uh, with a normal arc TV that was an old one and even with eARC it works brilliantly and uh, here we have a USB port on this one this is for service uh, this is if you don't have a HDMI arc on a television then uh, you would uh, use the uh, what do you say optical in the cable that was provided but again make sure if your TV has arc use that that is much better uh, but again guys if you don't have an optical out on your TV or a HDMI arc then I would not suggest the soundbar because it doesn't have the normal what do you say 3.5 mm headphone jack or something like that uh, we also have a wired ethernet port if you don't want to use Wi-Fi you can use that and I really like the fact that it has a subwoofer out so you can attach any active subwoofer you might have to this you don't need it but if you want that extra base you can definitely do that and I did test with that I'll show you and guys I've switched it on and this has built-in Alexa so uh, actually you can use it without the remote also I'll just keep the remote over here and let's try Alexa Alexa What's the time? The time is 1.20 p.m. I'll just lower the volume. It's actually allowed. We can ask Alexa to do it. Alexa, what's the volume level? This device is at volume 6. Alexa, change volume to 5. Again, you can also play music because now in India we have Amazon Music. For example, Alexa, Play some English pop music. The playlist, pop to make you happy on Amazon Music. And it should start playing actually. Alexa, increase volume. You can skip the track. Alexa, skip track. I'm going to increase the volume a little bit to show you that it works even with higher volume. I'm going to skip the track. Alexa, skip track. So the Alexa works as you can see. So it works actually pretty good. Alexa, skip track. I'm just not playing because of copyright issues guys. But yeah, I'll add the surround effect. I'll add the surround. I'm going to switch on the surround now. This is with surround on. 
I'm gonna switch off this around. Alexa, stop. So I'm not playing the music, but as you can see, you can control it with Alexa, works very well. Now let's do one thing. Let's now connect it to the television and have a look. And guys, I've set it to HDMI arc output. So let's play this trailer and see. Let me just. And now what I'll do guys, I'll try, I'll add a sub, external sub and see uh, how it changes. Now we have added the sub, so this is with the sub. So guys, what do I feel about this uh, soundbar? Let's break it down between the pros and cons. Let's talk about the negatives first. And the first thing that I noticed is that, and if you saw earlier, uh, what you, these buttons uh, are actually touch button, that's fine. But again, the LED lights on that are very, very tiny, and we don't have any LED display over here. So again, initially for the first couple of days, it was very annoying to figure out what are these, and they're very tiny when we are away from the TV. Uh, it's difficult to distinguish. So I don't like that. They should have a, uh, given a proper LED over here. Uh, next thing is that the maximum volume I felt uh, was not super super high. Don't get me wrong, if you are in sort of a medium to small size room, it has very filling sound. But again, if I compare it with my Polk Audio Magnify, I definitely felt at the maximum volume, it was about 20% louder. My daughter definitely said that this is loud enough, but I felt, uh, yeah, the maximum volume is not super super high. But again, I like the fact that it has that clear voice and all those things. So, gets that very immersive feeling, but maximum volume, I would say, uh, not that much uh, though it is having that 120 watt RMS uh, next thing is uh, uh, I connected it mostly to the television via the arc and generally uh, what happens is when you switch on the TV this also switches on that is fine and you can even control the volume with your uh, TV's remote control uh, that is fine uh, but what happens is that when I switch off the TV for more than let's say 25-30 minutes uh, this also switches off and I think so this goes in a very low state and when I switch on the TV this does not switch on automatically so I have to use the supplied remote so that is a little bit annoying uh, if you wake up the TV after half an hour or so I think so it's going in a deep, deep sleep more when you open the TV uh, that signal is not coming so that is something that I noticed so these were the nitpickings and also regarding the uh, what do you say mobile app uh, yes you have that mobile app and you have to use that to configure Alexa it works but again the mobile app is very very average in my frank opinion it could have been a lot better now let's move to the things that I really liked about this soundbar and I was surprised uh, initially regarding the sound signature I was getting on this one in fact I did not expect this much and yes it does have those woofers they call it subwoofer I won't call it a subwoofer the woofers and in fact it does provide quite a bit of bass even without the sub and I used it without the sub just like this for the first five days and I was surprised with the bass that you get yes it's not earth shattering or something it will shake your uh, uh, what do you say equipment or your furniture but again the base was there and the base is good enough it's done in a good way yes definitely when i added the external sub uh, the base improved drastically but even without that i would say if you're sort of uh, using it in a bedroom or medium-sized room the base is surprisingly good and i like the fact that 
you have that external base port so in the later stage if you want to put a dedicated subwoofer you can put it and you can go with any active subwoofer you are not restricted to just uh, from Yamaha or anything like that so I like that next thing is uh, regarding the sound again as I've told you the sound signature was very good it has an expansive sound and the sound is actually rich even the dialogue delivery is good and we also have the clear voice option on the remote and if you invoke it the dialogues definitely get enhanced quite a bit so watching movies uh, on this one was a good experience in fact i enjoyed it more than my bulk magnify uh, sound bar which is technically more expensive than this one uh, so that way it is good it also has that virtual surround sound and here i would say i had mixed reactions in uh, about just about 25 percent of the movie that just uh, what you say sound effect was better but in some of the other movies it was not that great so it's a hit or a miss again it's a virtualization thing guys so again you have to play around when you start a movie just press that 3d surround and see if you like that it tries to simulate the sound from side and stuff but the effect as i told you is great in some movies or completely lost and, and sounds annoying in some so again it's a mixed thing but overall i would say the sound uh, signature that i got with this one was very good the sound is actually very rich on this one i didn't expect that and also the built-in bass uh, with those bass drivers that it has was surprisingly good so overall i like it and if i have to compare with some of the other sound bars in this price range one of my cousins had the bose solo 5 that i think so was for 25 26 000. this definitely sounds way better i would say compared to the bose solo 5 and even the polk magnify mini that i had uh, this one sounds richer in sound and that sound stage is better on this one especially for movies i would say this is great for watching movies uh, and for movies i would rate it as high as 9 out of 10 but again if you are mostly getting this to listen to music etc then i would say I would rate it just about 7 out of 10. Uh, also, I like the fact that Alexa is there as you saw and that Alexa functionality also works very well. So overall, I would say it's a very good soundbar and I would rate it 9 out of 10. I'm taking out some points because uh, uh, in terms of loudness, as I told, maximum volume level is not super, super high. And again, that app, as I've told you, is not that great. But overall, uh, this uh, soundbar exceeded the expectations that I had. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. And guys, again, stay tuned. I'll also be reviewing some Dolby Atmos soundbars. Those are high-end soundbars. I've ordered them, uh, but it'll take about a week or two to get the delivery. So again, if you are not subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.